Hey friends, it's Travplate, and today I'm going to show you how to beat Corrin. He's the last of the Fire Emblem characters for me to cover. Woohoo! Now keep in mind that my guide won't cover everything, and in the end, usually the better player will win most matchups. But these tips and visual examples will improve your character knowledge, so you'll know what to look out for. Choose a stage without platforms, like Final Destination. Corrin mains love to use the platforms to juggle you over and over. And as for counter picks, the characters who are strong against Corrin are these projectile heavy characters who can outrange Corrin. And the characters who are weak against Corrin are the typical big characters, and then Jigglypuff. Which actually makes sense, because Jigglypuff struggles to approach Corrin from the air. Most pros rank Corrin as low or mid tier. Now to help you consistently beat Corrin, I'll show you moves to respect and what weaknesses to exploit. Let's get right into it. First thing to respect is Corrin's juggling. His aerials are fast, long, and disjointed and that makes it hard to move around him in the air. If you're not careful, he can rack up the damage very quickly. You need to either time a good air dodge to land, or play it safe and fall to the side and grab onto the ledge. Corrin's up air lasts longer and hits harder than you might think, and it was recently buffed, so this move can KO you easily. And also respect Corrin's back air, which is very powerful and nasty. It makes him move in a safe direction. Yep. Oh, and his nair is great too. And his down air can drill you if not careful. Right, so, Basically, don't get hit. Corrin's forward smash is the fourth longest in the game, just behind Min Min, Simon, and Richter. He can angle it up and down, so don't sit there at the ledge because you're not safe. What makes Corrin's F smash unique is that it can damage you while he's charging. If you're not careful, this could trap you into getting smashed. So don't attack a charging Corrin, unless it's with a disjointed attack or a projectile. If you do get caught in this trap, you can wiggle out, but it's not easy. Hold up with your L stick to SDI out of the trap, and then air dodge behind Corrin. While it's possible to escape, don't risk falling into this trap. Okay? Okay. Watch out for Corrin's Dragon Fang shot. It's a chargeable blast that stuns you when it hits. And don't fall for the trap of jumping over the blast and then attack Corrin head on, because he can use those jaws to chomp on you. If you're gonna jump over that blast, Either don't get close to Corrin, or jump high above him. Fortunately, this move does have a couple flaws. It doesn't deal very much shield damage, and it can be cancelled out by simple attacks, even when fully charged. As a Link main, all I have to do is kick it. The problem solved. Corrin's Side B, Dragon Lunge, is a move that can be mixed up in a lot of ways. He can two-frame you off the ledge with the initial spike, he can spike in the ground and then either kick forward, backward, or even cancel the move and land on the ground. This move is part of what made him so amazing in Smash 4, but in Smash Ultimate, it got nerfed hard by having a ton of end lag. So you can usually punish him after he uses this move. The best way to beat this move is just holding your shield, wait for the kick, and then punish quickly. But there is a chance he could cancel the move and come and grab you. If this happens, be ready to use an out of shield option or move away. Oh, and don't forget that Corrin has a counter, just like every Fire Emblem character, <clears throat> except Robin. His counter is powerful and hits you upward. You can anticipate him to use it to stop you from juggling him. And for all you casual players, here's Corrin's final smash. His initial attack hits above him and near his front and back. So keep your distance and don't jump over him. Before I get into the weaknesses, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want more content like this. I'd really appreciate it and it helps a ton. Corrin's speed is below average. His low acceleration and air speed make it hard for him to keep up with quick characters who can simply run or jump away from his long reach. Corrin has a poor disadvantage state. That means he struggles to break out of combos. Most of the time, he'll either use his down air or counter to stop your combo. So you can anticipate that by pausing your combo and then punishing. Corrin struggles against characters with projectiles. If you've got him, then feel free to stay back and shoot Corrin over and over. He usually wants you up close so he can juggle you or forward smash you, so don't let him. Corrin's grab game is weak, because his throws don't lead into combos very well, and he only has one killing throw, his down throw, but it doesn't KO until about 180%.
Corrin's recovery is very exploitable because he doesn't have too many options to mix things up. His up special is powerful, but it can be beaten by dunks and even some nares. So don't let Corrin get back to the stage and jump out there and edge guard him like a boss. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Also, check out my playlist of how to beat every character in Smash Ultimate. There's a lot of info there. And let me know which character you'd like me to do next. See ya!